Hello you lawnies and welcome to the breakdown of the Scarifier the Scott Bonnar Model 46 Ok guys here you can see me I'm removing the engine, there's 4 bolts very easy access to them after that I start to remove the drive shaft the housing ex extension also 4 bolts that fits to the side of the engine All right. the grub screw was already removed from the drive shaft it actually came off very very easily the dust cover turning the, the body upside down to have easy access to the pin type scarifier there's two bolts on both sides that I start to remove a bigger bolt for the pulley adding some Q20 lubricant grab my big puller and start to pull off the pulley easily everything was disassembled quite easily Oh, then you see me starting with the wheels two bolts on both sides turning the body up to have easier access also starting to remove the rear cover it gets a little bit stuck there so you first have to remove the handlebars or just loosen it to remove the rear cover right then I start with the wheels those wheels will be replaced the bearings are really damaged turning the body upside again front wheel another front wheel this is a straightforward breakdown guys nothing nothing complicated the body is quite easily to lift because it's aluminium right, then I start to remove the handlebars as well as the, in the engagement lever Putting down the handlebars, starting with the jockey, another bolt, two bolts on the inside, easy access again. This was really a very easily breakdown. Body is finished, putting it down. Now I start with the wheels wheels first wheel is removed bolt the wheel quadrant you have to tap it out a little bit it's not that stiff but it easily it easily remo removes not a problem at all first one is finished and then I continue with the rest of them <coughs> this wheels the previous owner made his own idea of putting the wheels on there's a few variations between the wheels that I'm going to fix the, the front wheels is a bit smaller but the bases of them all are the same there's nothing different there's a mud guard as well I did not remove the mud guards and okay, then you start to see me working on the drive shaft housing extension okay, removing the pulley for the puller which was very simple hmm. there's a woodruff key 
that you have to keep safe and then the drive shaft right the drive shaft came out quite easily on the inside is a circlip with the internal circlip removed I can now start to remove the bearing the bearing also came out quite easily putting on my puller again and remove the bearing and that's it very simple okay, on the jockey mounting brackets were removed Having a good look at the pulley over there. Okay, take off the nut. After the nut, pull it again. Grab, pull it out. Internal circle up again. And then on the inside, there are two bearings. Just be careful when you knock it like that. That there's an internal circle up on the inside as well. Okay, Lonnie's, and that is what it looks like when it's got Bonner 46 is disassembled. Right, everything is now removed. Uh, the bearings did not look too bad. I must say, the bearings was quite in a good condition, but I'm gonna replace all of them. Uh, the wheels is going to be replaced, the belt is going to be replaced. Nice powder coat. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.